Hello, and thank you for tuning into Tribrary, where we try things at the library. I'm Miss Anna, Teen Services Librarian. And I'm Miss Jessie, Teen Program Specialist. Today, we are going to try guessing classic and teen book titles based on one star reviews from Goodreads. Normally, we'd be doing this program in the library. However, since we can't, we thought we would show you what you can expect when you are able to join us in person. The good news is you can play along today as the reviews will be shown on the screen. Are you ready to get started? Let's get started. I did not prepare smack talk, so. That's okay, I didn't either. A little orphan boy gets bullied by his aunt, uncle, teacher, and a scrawny blonde kid because his parents are dead, so he and his loser friends go find a rock using sticks and chess. Three out of ten. I feel like I don't know this one. You don't know <laughs> I'm it? I'm just kidding. That was totally oh. a joke. Oh. I was really excited that I knew it and you didn't. I will say it took me longer than it should have. I'm like, I don't know any books about a little... Orphan Boy, I'm like, are we talking about Oliver Twist? I'm like, that doesn't make sense in any kind of way. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm do ready. You know this? I do. Are you ready? One, ready? two, three. Harry, Harry Potter, Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Stone. Or the okay. Philosopher's Stone. You are correct. You each get a point. Congratulations. Yay. Why they gotta be his loser friends? Like, what do they have against Ron and Hermione? <laughs> so do you agree with the three out of 10 slash one star review? I don't. I don't always love Harry Potter books, but I thought the first one was pretty good. I would give it probably like a 6 out of 10. I remember when it first came out, I started reading and I was like, I don't like this book. It's not going to be great. <laughs> and then years later, I'm at the midnight releases. So this story teaches us that if you stuff yourself full of junk and candy, you will turn into a beautiful butterfly. Why is this a number one seller? <laughs> I think I know what it is. No. Um, I got it, it. It's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. You got it? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. So I'm going to talk really slow so I can think about it <laughs> while... Um... All right, I think we should guess. I have no idea. Two, two one... A very hungry caterpillar. Oh! And the point goes to Anna. I love It's a Very Hungry Caterpillar. That yeah. is a very good book. Whoever gave it a one-star review is wrong. They, they clearly um, did not care for the message of stuffing your face and growing beautiful. All right. Are you all ready for this next one? Ready. ready. All right. I was definitely not in the target demographic as a reader for this book. Somehow I managed to make it through the whole thing. I thought the concept was interesting at first. It's like American Idol, except the contestants are killing each other. It kind of reminded me of that old Schwarzenegger movie, The Running Man. But then I realized that this book was written for teenage girls. The heavy emphasis on the clothing that the characters wore got annoying, and the love story was so pathetic it almost hurt. Now this book is being made into a movie? Hooray, can't hardly wait frowny face. Mm, American Idol. So contestants are killing each other. Isn't that just Have, American yes. Idol? <laughs> Have you seen The Running Man? I've never seen The Running Man. I have not seen The Running Man. So I don't know how well we'll guess this one, but I have an idea. I have a guess as well. You ready? Three, two, one. Hunger Games. Hunger Games. You are both correct. Woo! Yay. As a review of the first Hunger Games book, also known as The Hunger Games. I almost said The Maze Runner because it said Running Man, and I'm like, that wasn't written about clothing for girls. <laughs> I will say I liked the first Hunger Games, so I don't agree with this review if it's about the first one. However, I did not like the series overall. The overall, I would give this series a one star. First book was great, second book was okay, third book was awful. Oh, wow, okay. Well, exactly. I can't believe I have the highest feeling of the series out of you three. That's crazy. I uh, I like the first book, okay. Um, I loved the second book, and yeah, I can agree that the third one is awful. 
boring. A bunch of pretentious girls sitting around like the modern day bachelor, just waiting for their men to come and grovel at their feet. <laughs> this is fantastic. Do you know this one, Jesse? Um, no. Well, I mean, I kind of have a guess. It's not what I would have thought it was. So I'm going to go with no. I also don't, <laughs> don't have a guess on this one. Um, Can we have a hint of what age range it is? It's classic. I've said it in the description. Oh. Which is why I have a guess. I would not have guessed a classic. I would have guessed a teen book. You ready? We're going to guess now. All right, or Three, guess. <laughs> two, one, Pride and Prejudice. Point goes to Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's been a while since I've read it, but I don't remember that being the good synopsis. <laughs> I've never read it. Oh, Although wow. Sense and Sensibility, and I remember nothing of it. Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorite books of all time, so obviously I would give this book five stars. However, I do like that they said it's just a modern-day bachelor waiting for their men to come and grovel at their feet. Which I is mean, not it is true that everyone gets married at the end. I see what they're going for there, but that's... <laughs> everyone does not get married at the end. Most, most Jane Austen books, everyone gets married at the end. That's like how they resolve everything with a neat little bow. You mean with a ring? Marriage that does too. not resolve everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I agree with Jesse. It is one of my favorite books of all time, and I think it does deserve the title classic, but that review is hilarious. So I, I can only disagree so much. So this one reads, This book is a lame Harry Potter ripoff, point by point. Um, wizards are taken, so this kid will be the son of a god. Uh, he needs two friends to go with him on adventures. A scaredy cat guy friend and a super smart girl pal. Should have said gal pal. But anyway, the sole redeeming feature is blank, refreshingly down-to-earth per first-person narration. His self-awareness is a good model of writing for teen students. I think I got this one. I feel like, again, I haven't read this book, so I'm just going off of context clues. So I could be wrong on this one, but I'm ready to guess. Three, two, one. Percy, Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. You're both correct. Yay. So I hope you know that one because we chose it as one of our book club books for teen time. Yes, and I didn't go to that one that day, so I didn't read the book. <laughs> I think I agree about the um, good model for writing for teens. It was really funny. I like Percy Jackson. The movie, on the other hand, don't get me started. <laughs> I'm going to get her started. I'm very sorry. I've only seen the movie, and as I've only seen the movie, I kind of liked it. The story by itself in the movie is fine. Compared yeah, to the book, I've heard it's pretty bad. Are you ready? Ready. You like spaghetti. I do like spaghetti. Horrific, not unfortunate. This story stressed me out. Somebody rescue those kids! Also, the word unfortunate in the title should be replaced with catastrophic, evil, and horrific. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are pretty dark books. Again, I've never read them, but I've seen the movie. Yes, I was guessing, ready, one, two, three. Lemony Snicket in the series of unfortunate events. Yep, you both got it. It's really hard to guess when someone else is guessing slightly different than you. <laughs> Which is why I say it really loud so I can only hear me. <laughs> it's a good life philosophy, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I have never read these. Are they, are they good? If you like, uh, what was the quote? Let me let me pull back up. Catastrophic, evil, and horrific plot lines. Yes. But have you read? You haven't read the books, Miss Jackson. I have not. Okay, I haven't either. They get recommended to me sometimes, but I haven't. I haven't tried yet. There are several <laughs> series of it now. So they have like the original series, and then there, there's I think two spin-off series to it. I don't think this person wants me to read them though, so I can take solace in that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> we are going to go over one more uh, one-star book review. Let's see if you all can guess this one. What a gloomy story in a desert. Blank looks like he never went to a desert. A desert is sunshine, light, 
heat, space, vastness, infinity, horizon, skies, stars, fresh air, cleanliness, silence, makes you meditate, beautiful, wonderful, full of hidden life, and paradise and oasis. The desert of blank is gloomy, dark, underground, narrow, hard to breath, polluted, noisy, scary, ugly, without sunshine, without oxygen, without any but horrible life. His characters, even the good ones, have the same characteristics as his desert. Every time I read a chapter, I had to breathe outside. I had to run outside to breathe and get some oxygen. It's a rather dramatic review. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any ideas on this one? No. I'm just sad that it's hard to breath. I really hope that he can get out there and breath. <laughs> And that we have a hint if this is a classic or a teen book. That was also what I was thinking. I have a book in my head, but it's a classic. So this is an adult fiction book. I okay, think I have what it is, but I've never read it. You want to just guess? I'm I'm ready. Ready? Ready, set, guess. Dune. Dune. Yeah, you're both correct. <laughs> but again, you said it so far after me. You're just copying my answers. No, I said it at the exact same time as you. Your computer is just slow. <laughs> that is quite possible. It's been out no, in the I, desert too long. It can't breath. I will say, whoever wrote this, um, I would agree. <laughs> I did not love Dune. Really? Um, oh. So much so that I can't remember if I read it or watched the movie. <laughs> well, if you watched the movie, that makes sense. But no, it's a good book. So I'm pretty sure I read it. And there are like 700 of the books and movies. So who knows? I only read the first one, but the first one is awesome. Highly recommended. The, the review is, is pretty fantastic. I'm pretty sad he didn't misspell dessert, though. Like desert for dessert. He has a very distinct idea of what a desert should look like and I feel like that's not my idea of what a desert should look yeah, like. Like a desert in my head is not a paradise and oasis. Yeah, he definitely likes deserts more than I do, so you know, props to him. <laughs> Thank you for watching Triberry, one star book reviews. If there's anything else you want us to try, get in touch and let us know. Before we go, did you know the library has more than just books? We also have several resources, including Novelist. If you're looking for a book similar to the one you're reading, or have read before, Novelist is the place for you. You can enter a book title and it will tell you books with similar authors or plots. You can also sort them by genre or age. We hope we'll see you at our next virtual program. For more information about the library and teen services, please visit www.vbgov.com libraries.